once i did electromagnetic simulation i picked the view for em model i simulated it so after simulation i am not getting the desired outcome so now what i want i want to uh, tune it further so we know tuning and optimization in the schematic now this particular uh, schematic is not similar to the previous one here you have the elements which are from uh, layout or em model the electromagnetic model which you have simulated so in this electromagnetic model uh, once you go for tuning and optimization you not only want to tune and optimize this schematic element rather these uh, electromagnetic elements you also want to uh, tune so for that if i uh, what is the uh, step if i go for tuning and optimization for example if there is a t lin if there is a t lin i double click on it i see the parameters which can be tuned so these are the parameters right but if i double click on this you see it just tells the instance name but not the parameters which are available it says instance does not have defined parameters so this means you do not have any parameter which can be tuned the challenge is to get the parameters we know that this eventually had some parameters right here you see wl for this wl for this so i if i get these parameters here i can perhaps tune it so how do we get that since this is an ea model so you will have to go to this electromagnetic simulation window which is the layout window and here in the electromagnetic setup you can see so in the electromagnetic setup you can see that uh, there is one element component and it says component parameters so here you can define the parameters based on uh, the requirement based on the parameters you want to optimize in the schematic it is not necessary that you define the parameters for all of these elements for example i here i will not uh, define the parameter for this and uh, if uh, you double click on this particular element you can see that this particular element has some dimensions w and l as we defined in the schematic once we were designing this in ideal transmission line and micro strip transmission line okay so these values are from there so what i will do i will not rather utilizing this par these parameters which are defined in schematic i am going to make parameters which are defined in electromagnetic simulation window so you will go with type sub network so here for example i say there is one element a1 and what is the default value default value is so i know these values but i need another parameter another parameter which is defined in electromagnetic simulation window so that it can be recalled so 55.8 control c control v so this particular element with this value is defined okay now electromagnetic window knows that there is a parameter a1 having a value of 55.8 so how can we utilize it now once you define it apply it properly so after clicking apply i am ensured that this a1 is defined with this layout what i will do in w i will put a1 and the dimension of this is in mils so next i want to define two more parameters here so 54 now a2 54 add b2 804.5 add so apply first define the parameter then assign the parameter apply okay so i have defined four different parameters to my electromagnetic model now the next step electromagnetic simulation we have everything defined here the range model okay okay so i am just simulating these were the just go to processes just informing that we have defined some parameters
ओके तो नाउ सिमुलेशन इज डन लेट अस कम बैक टू और डिजाइन गो बैक टू रेडियस विंडो डिलीट दिस सिंबल एज अवर यूजुअल प्रोसेस ब्रिंग दिस ले आउट लोकल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सो यस एवरीथिंग इज कनेक्टेड चेंज द सिमुलेशन व्यू ये मॉडल सिमुलेट प्रोसीजर what is the next step uh, as we went into simulation here again we are going to simulation variable setup and in the optimization window you can see that this was the instance right x1 and now you have these parameters here which can be redefined uh, for the tuning and optimization purposes we will just provide a very uh, little window here which can be relaxed based on the outcome you get so i am keeping it nearby 55 to 58 get uh, let me take it 790 to 815 or 54 again 54 to 58 again 790 to 815 so this is how i define this the parameters of this instance and for the tuning and optimize for the optimization what do we need we need optimization controller so here is the controller and here is the goal the goal fortunately is very simple for us at this point of time the one one the simulation is sp1 and frequency is i will give some flexibility of 20 megahertz to find out a value which is less than minus uh 20 because right now the performance is way bad it is not even reaching 10 so i hope the view is you have seen the optimization it was way fast in simulation but now in electromagnetic simulation it will not be that fast you will see the number of iterations here so this for a very simple structure it is taking around 20 seconds for one iteration so this is a process where you might have to wait for days also so right now it seems i need to increase a2 okay so let me pause it here only so i will keep it 60 i will edit my goals to minus 15 for now so you can see the error factor also so how much your error factor and is it degrading taking time so you will get several things so you see 0.2 to minus 0.6 uh, big jump and that is because i have relaxed the goal also so you will always want to have this perfect zero since i am interested in f11 i have defined this goal here in user exercise you are not going for optimization with the single goal you can have multiple goals right so keep it all together then once you run this optimization 
so in your goal this will f11 will not be only goal you will have several window here for each and every goal this will have to satisfy all at once to give the best performance for example i wanted to reach minus 10 this was my goal so what i will do i will update it close so earlier i was not below minus 10 now i am below minus 10 okay so this suffice my desired performance so i am supposed to be ready to send the design to fabrication right one thing but if you see double click here you see a1 is 59.86 right if i double click here it is a1 if i go to em component parameters what is the value of a1 can you see it it's 55 so i get the desired performance with the optimized parameters so i am not getting the window with the optimized parameter but these optimizations are not translated here so what will i need to do i will just double click i need to copy paste these components here a1 apply b1 so paste a2 64 b2 control okay so all of these values are changed and applied you should note that i go to edit component update component definition so now you see the circuit it will change the dimensions accordingly okay there was a little bit shift could you observe now this is also shifted because this is independent ground so you will have to adjust it again so last time we have measured it to be 60 it seems 63 now so we can have it a bit closer so sometime these adjustment will uh, enforce you to re-simulate your design once i do this i would encourage you to do this electromagnetic simulation once again and uh, check whether the performance is correct once you are ready with your design file you will want this particular design to be sent to manufacturer for the fabrication purposes and for that you generate gerber file so you go to file export so here you can see there are several formats of gerber file which you can select based on the manufacturer requirement so here you select gerber file and select more options based on you desire uh, so i am keeping this setting at default i can browse to select the destination directory so for example i select okay so you can select view file after report click okay so once i click okay you get this particular view where this one color signifies the top layer the other color is signifying this particular drill and you can check these Uh, based on the directory you have selected and rfcd rfcd so you see two files are there cond for conductive layer hole for this particular hole or if you send these two files to the manufacturer he will do the fabrication and send this particular design to you and you need to make sure one more thing in this particular design we are uh, utilizing the infinite ground plane uh what i mean with that is i haven't defined the ground plane and once you submit this particular design to the manufacturer he knows he he need to know what is the board cut out size because he will cut out in a uh, the, the pcb board on which he will fabricate he will cut it out and give it to you right so for that you can do one thing you select uh, uh, this rectangular path and based on the board you want the board dimension you want for example i want 
to leave out some space here leave out some space here leave out some space here so you should keep it around I mean just have a distance of uh, 5 to 10 mm that should be sufficient but i am not leaving any distance here so we are going to put the sma connector here which will be soldered on this layer so that is why if i keep the board to this particular the ground will be up to this then uh, my solder pin might not reach to this uh, transmission line and we this we don't want so that is why i am not leaving any space here you may go very close and find to have around 1 mm of gap maybe if you are still curious that your uh, transmission line should not be uh, rubbed out while designing the pcb so you can leave the little space for the tolerance of pcb machine otherwise uh, once you select the space right click modify it and you can use this particular option explode so this way it is just the outline and now if i do the generation again export the same gerber file format same folder view file after the generation export is complete it is now generating the gerber view so you see you have one additional layer which you can inform the manufacturer to use it as a board outline so this way you can transfer the complete information to the manufacturer so this will go as top layer but you inform the manufacturer that this layer can be considered as the board outline so this is how your design complete and yes you are good to send the files for the fabrications and be ready for the measurements